Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome to Let's Play Sonic Wings 3, or as some of you may know it, as Arrow Fighters 3. We are now entering the final week of Neo Geo Month, and this is one of the... Well, actually, I wanted to play Arrow Fighters 2, but for some reason the ROM doesn't work. So we're going to go with this one instead. This is actually one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this Neo Geo unit in the first place, because I love the, the Arrow Fighters games and Blazing Star. Those were like the two primary reasons for this whole thing. But yeah... So, with this fairly relaxed and kind of mellow-sounding intro that's going on here, let's get down to business. Let's shoot some shit up. Okay, so who do we want to be today? Well, we only have a minute to figure this out. We're going to be the Zero Fighter. That's the guy that I would have definitely picked had this been Arrow Fighters 2. So, as any one of these fighter pilot games goes, you shoot, and you drop bombs, and you dodge. I mean, that is... That is pretty much the entire purpose of the game, and now we are going to get down to it. Yet another button-mashing beauty, as we have come to find that is one of my favorite styles of game in the world. And we have these weird little boomerang-looking things, actually pretty cool-looking. So I, I've never played uh, I've never played Arrow Fighters 3 before, I've, I've primarily only played number 2. So this is going to be a little bit of a blind experience for me. God damn it. <laughs> and we're already starting it off with... Whoa! What in the world? Holy shit, I have never seen that kind of bomb experience before. That was certainly interesting. Wow. Come on, come on, grab them all while you can. There we go. Awesome. What the hell? How did that thing even come out here? The thing just came from the ethereal plane. That was weird. Alright. Dude, this is a really cool concept for bombs. Like, it's not even a bomb, it's just a special like, other thing. I think that's really cool. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a, a game really take advantage of that type of thing before. I, I like that. New things, you know? God, I'm fucking starving right now. I I got home from work a little while ago, and I haven't really eaten anything besides a bag of chips today, and so I am just, like, I'm physically dying. Like, my stomach is... I'm surprised you haven't heard it over my microphone yet. It is just... It is just growling up a storm right now. Plus, my dad's making his famous barbecue chicken right now. So, among other things. What a weird tank, by the way. Like, we had a tank that just came out of nowhere, and then there was a plane stored inside of that tank. We won't let that bunch get away. Interesting. Very interesting. And now we're in the desert. Oh, fuck. I didn't even see that thing hit me. Better yet, how is that plane flying with only half a tail? Yeah, yeah, you're all going down in a pile of smoke from my awesome phoenix thing. Aw. There it is. The first death hath been surrendered. And there will be plenty more. These Arrow Fighters games get pretty wild later on. I, I will certainly be up front with you in that sense of things. Once again, a game that I was planning on, on playing with a partner, but he was not available for this today, which has kind of been the, the, the theme of the week, or of the entire month. I, I've played virtually all of these, which I had kind of planned on playing with some friends. Uh, most of these outside of the, uh, the Bust and Move Puzzle Bobble episode that I did with Lige. I mean, these have all been played by myself, so, oh my god, that's a big tank. I've noticed one thing about this game in contrast to um, the Arrow Fighters 2 is that these levels are a lot shorter. I mean, not like the ones from Arrow Fighters 2 were long by any stretch of the imagination, but these these certainly are very, very short. Oh my god! See, this is the one thing that I like about this game in contrast to things like, oh, uh, you know, Ghost Pilots. I mean, that's that's kind of my my... My one thing that I can draw comparisons to all over the place is that A, you can maneuver way easier with these planes, and they're not just having 50 bajillion enemies on the screen at one given time. Like, they at least give you a little bit of room to breathe, and that that is one, one reason why I adore this game. And, you know, games like uh, Strikers 1945 uh, over games like Ghost Pilots. Whoa, what, what was... what the hell was that?! That little F thing was just like this giant kaboom everywhere. Yeah, how strange. That one thing we picked up just fucking obliterated everything and everybody. Whoa! 
Look at all the power-ups! Holy sh... Wow! I mean, I shouldn't have touched that guy. This is a very interesting bonus level. This is the coolest thing! I mean, it's free points everywhere, but... This is one of the more obscure bonus levels I think I've encountered in a while. Huh. How strange. I mean, I'm down with it completely. Like, that was... That was certainly interesting. I mean, usually... There'll be, like, the bonus level they had in Arrow Fighters 2, if we're gonna... Since we're kind of in the mood to compare things everywhere, because that's what human beings have to do. We, we, we have to compare everything for one reason or another, which is one reason why I don't know if I'm really down with the uh, the YouTube channel Watch Mojo or not. I mean, it's, it's like comparison central everywhere. They have a comparison for fucking everything. But, I mean, that's what human beings do. We, we compare stuff, because that's just what we do by nature. Like, we... If, like, there's a basketball team, for instance, because I'm watching the playoffs right now, like... Like, well, this... I think that this team's better than this team, or I think that this player's better than this player. When... When, in, like, it's like the, the Kobe and LeBron debate. Like, they're two completely different players. Or, you know, LeBron and Kevin Durant. They're completely different players, but people feel the need that they have to compare them anyways, because... You know, people people can't be they can't be satisfied with there just being two players that are really good. Like it just it has to be like, well, but one of them has to be better than the other one. So it's just you know that's that's kind of how it goes. But yeah, in the uh, like I was saying before we got sidetracked completely on going that direction with things, um, Arrow Fighters Two. The, uh, the little bonus stage they had there was just this giant slew of planes everywhere, which every time you killed one of them, it gave you one of those little power-up things. So, I mean, it, it was a similar idea, but they executed it differently. This one was just the one plane that is just the end-all, be-all for fucking everything there. It just gave you 50 trillion... Th oh, it's this guy again. Yet he just doesn't die. Yet again, a plane inside of a plane. Not like that's not impossible. There are certainly plenty of situations where there's planes inside of planes. What are the, what are the name of those planes in the army that they use that that transport other ones? Were they C-130s or something like that? I don't know the, the, the name behind it, but they're like fucking huge, and you can store all sorts of things in there. I feel like this game is like, like we're already well over halfway through this game. We've already gone through like a shitload of different levels. I feel like I should probably stop this soon. Okie dokie. <laughs> that tank was actually really well hidden down there. He was just kind of chilling out there. Oh god. Oh boy. See, I, I like that with this game. Like, they'll still give you some challenges as far as, like, having heavy fire going on, but they don't just give you this fucking crazy slew of things. Because that would just not be fair. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I have this weird feeling in mind that this game is a lot shorter than I'm thinking it is. So, this one's not going to be the traditional 10, 11, 12, 13 minutes like some of the other ones were. Uh, the, the Arrow Fighters slash Sonic Wings games are particularly shorter just because of how like quick the gameplay is. So, when we come back on the next episode of Sonic Wings 3, I got a weird feeling we're probably going to be going through the last half of the game, so... It's going to be a quick little one, but I figure, you know, why not? If we're going to be going into the last week of Neo Geo Month, we might as well get a couple more things done here. And this was certainly one of the marquee ones I wanted to do, so... It's all good, my friends. When we come back, we're going to take on this fucking leviathan of a plane down there. And we'll see what happens. So until then, this is your host, AMF, saying thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.